Hello, everybody! This is OB2 coming at you with my episode review of episode 9 of Akami Got Killed. Now, this was an interesting episode. We now have been confirmed, yes, as we thought in the last episode, the Balut is dead. Um, and it kicks off with basically um, Tatsumi um, training. Um, he's he's as one of the two final men, last men in the night raid. He is training along with the other final member uh, uh, to get stronger. And um, he's training by basically doing push-ups with one of the female members, Akami, on his back, sitting on his back while he's doing push-ups. So he is planning to build up his body strength because now he has glutes. Um, Imperial arm, the armor, and it because it drains so much energy just to wear it. He's trying to build himself back up and become even more powerful than that. And in this process, um, Leon uh, says basically after being complimented by the head of the night raid, Leon says, "I wasn't going to tell you this because I thought it would kick your vanity." But Balut once told me that you basically, he thinks, and then we go to a cutaway flashback, the fact that he thinks that uh, Tatsumi, if he trains and prepares himself and practices and builds himself up, he be can become an even more powerful fighter than Balut himself. So, this is big words from this powerful, badass Balut who was able to take down three of these members from uh, Estas, uh, our personal army, um, in a matter of minutes, and it was including Lever, who is such a badass. So with that, and which is a huge compliment. And later on, we have this get together, which was hinted in the end of the last episode. Estas has gathered six members to take place to take the place of the three that died. Uh, Bulatans, uh, the three thing, form, uh, basically new members, subordinates. And surprisingly, one of these subordinates turns out to be the girl with the living and pillar arm that killed uh, Lele. And so that's pretty big that she's one of the picks. Um, there's another girl who I think has some sort of tie to Akami. She looks similar to Akami and similar to something I saw in a flashback from Akami, so uh, I think she has some sort of tie, and we have a country guy who, we don't know much about him, so there's some interesting new characters, which is quite interesting in this episode, but the next part of the episode, which was really interesting, is the fact that um, Estoff is looking for a guy, and, she, you know, they have this tournament, but before, basically, uh, the Emperor is reading off Estoff's list of qualities she's looking in a man. And there's like powerful strength, uh, willing to be submissive to her. The fact that they were born outside the kingdom. All, a bunch of these lists. And as they're reading them off, I'm like, good looking, younger than her. And as I'm looking off, listening to um, this list, I'm like, holy crap, that's Tatsumi. So the Night Raid group, group is basically having ha, basically has Tatsumi enter a tournament, basically to get more intel, and he's kicking ass in this tournament. He kicks ass in the match he's in. We see him in, and in the middle of the match, S. Doth goes comes up. She's like just sitting there watching the match, like this is boring. I am not interested. And then she sees Tatsumi's match, and she's like, "Whoa, who the fuck is that?" And she ends up getting up and says, that's him. And they're like, you mean he, and the other people in the back are like, you, th you mean him? There's someone that we can try the Imperial Arms on? Because they're having this tournament to find more people who could be compatible for Imperial Arms to strengthen up their army. And she's like, no, that's him. And she walks down. She goes like, she comes on to him. She's like, there's something I really want to give you. And she reaches into the side of her shirt next to her cleavage. And he's like, uh, did she figure out I'm a Night Raid member? What is this? What you want to give me? And she pulls out 
and she puts a collar on him. And she starts dragging him back, and he's like, he's like trying to resist, and she basically just knocks him out. And the episode kind of ends with the a discussion of the final Nightmare member saying that Tatsumi has been captured, taken to the um, uh, castle, and they're saying, there's a 50-50 chance that they figured out he's a Night Raid member, but they're not sure. So this is going to be really interesting, because it seems as Stoth has taken a liking to Tatsumi. She seems to be attracted to him. She seems that he is the guy she wants to marry as her guy. But the fact is, she doesn't know he is a member of Night Raid. So, I'm really looking forward to this next episode. This whole fun of the episode was just gathering the new members... Uh, Tatsumi trying to get stronger to fill Bulat's shoes and become worthy of Bulat's sacrifice. And the fact that um, Estoth, um, this powerful, powerful general, has during this tournament has taken a liking to Tatsumi, has kind of got a crush on her and thinks he's attractive and all the things on her list of a guy she's looking for and everything. And the fact that she does not know he's a Night Raid member on top of that, it's going to make this next episode so much great, because I want to see her really put the moves on Tatsumi, and see what she does, how she puts the move, how aggressive is she going to be, um, and how is he going to hide the fact that he's a Night Raid member, and what will happen uh, if she does find out, and will he meet the female uh, member of her new six that has that living, um, uh, this Imperial Arm looks like a little doggy. So this is going to be really interesting this next episode. I'm looking forward to seeing how things turn out. Um, all these little aspects. I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait. This is going to be a good episode. And we're at episode 9, so I'm wondering, will they really wrap everything up really, really quickly to make it only a 13-episode series? Or will they stretch it out even further and make this a 26 or something? Because... Where we're at, I can't really see them wrapping it up quickly enough in about four episodes. I can't see them wrapping up the series in like four more episodes just where we're at. It doesn't seem like it would be a decent series. I've seen them wrap things up really quickly with other series, but a lot of times if they're at this type of stage of the story and they wrap it up that quickly, it usually doesn't turn out to be, it's almost like the series is like a teaser for the, uh, for the manga, so I'm really hoping they stretch this one out to at least further than 13 episodes, because I really can't see them going that far. Thus, this is the old boy 82 thing. If you like this video, please click like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. This is your way to Sunny out.